Pleased to welcome to the Halton News the Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, Vic Fideli. Good afternoon, Minister Fideli. How are you today? I'm doing great. And I have to ask, did you ever think you'd see a day when the steel industry was pushing its way to becoming green? It's, isn't it exciting? I mean, getting off coal like that, uh, making green steel. This is one of the uh, DeFasco's first announcements worldwide about getting into green steel. And by green steel, uh, what we mean, of course, is steel made from clean energy, uh, not coal. It'll be primar primarily nuclear and uh, hydropower, water power. So listen, we had the big announcement this morning, but how long has this deal been in the works? Like when was it presented and how long have you been working on it? I won't say a year, but, a, uh, it, you know, certainly far more than a half a year, uh, but a long time. It really began in the thinking of driving prosperity, which is our plan for the auto sector. We want we want to see uh, electric vehicles made here. So we saw Ford's announcement in Oakville, where we put $295 million in. You saw Stellantis and General Motors make announcements that they're going to be making electric vehicles here. We're pushing very hard on landing a battery, electric vehicle battery manufacturer for Ontario. We are, um, we put millions of dollars into the parts and tools and dyes and mold maker to shift to pivot over to make electric vehicle parts. Um, we are in the connected and autonomous vehicle, uh, putting tens of millions into the tech sector for that critical minerals, which ties Northern Ontario in for the first time. And now uh, the, the real uh, uh, important part is to have green steel. You can't make green cars without green steel. Yeah, you guys are really, you know, trying to bring it all home, literally home being in Ontario. And this is obviously a big change. Um, as I can see by the smile on your face, a positive change. But it's, it's obviously not something that's going to happen overnight. What is the timeline here? Well, they hope to be done by 2028, so it's not that far. When you consider it's $1.8 billion from uh, DeFasco, uh, there, there's a tremendous amount of work to do. The technology is all here, so it's just uh, uh, rolling up sleeves and getting it done. And this team at DeFasco worldwide is just unbelievably spectacular to deal with. They're very, very professional, and I have every confidence that they'll be done well, we're sitting here, I'm sitting here in Halton, obviously neighbor to Hamilton. Um, you know, from your angle, of course, what does this mean for the local economy? Well, it's important. There's uh, 4,600 men and women that work here. There's hundreds of thousands that work in the auto sector. And again, we're tying it all together that we want to have electric vehicles made here, electric vehicle batteries made here, the green steel, the minerals produced here, the parts produced here. So this is... This is, we're all in. The province of Ontario, Premier Ford, we're all in for billions of dollars of investment in this new, uh, exciting new uh, auto strategy. Well, it definitely does seem that Ontario and the Ontario government is dedicated to keeping Hamilton being known as the steel town for a whole lot longer. Beautiful. Thank you very much for your time today, Minister Fidelli. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very kindly.